Hey everyone, it is Thursday, May 4th, 2023. And today we're gonna walk down Nicolet Mall, explore what it's looking like today. We're at the start of Nicolet Mall here, Nicolet Mall and Washington Avenue in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This is the Hermar Boya Financial Building, which I believe is now completely vacant. This boy has moved across the street here into the mark. It is just about a perfect day in Minneapolis, about 75 degrees, sunny, light breeze. Can't really complain at all. I heard somebody say today, today is the one day of the year that we put up with the other 364. Here in front of us, we have brand new RBC Gateway Tower, completed last year, opened in 2022, the Royal Bank of Canada, the anchor tenant here, this little plaza out front, the coffee shop on the lower level. This also contains the Four Seasons, Ho Four Seasons Hotel, and a restaurant called Mara, which I believe is pretty nice. I haven't had a chance to check out Mara yet though. We head this direction past that, I think it was originally a library, the Boya Building, which is no longer the Boya Building. You'll get to the Mississippi River. You can see a crane over there which I don't recall what exact, which building exactly that is for. I think it's there on First Street. I wanna say it's a hotel, but a little three, four story building, but I do not quite remember. So Nicollet Mall is one of the few non-public accessible driving spaces in Minneapolis and Minnesota. This is a bus and walking, biking only route. You can see up here there's a little deck. Rooftop patios are starting to open up in the building I work out of. They opened theirs up today and it is just perfect out there. Gotta drink a lime seltzer. Cannot complain about that at all. This is the Hennepin County Central Library, the main building here. Third Street and Nicollet. the Four Seasons here also has permanent residencies in it too. It is the, I want to say first, either four or five star hotel. I want to say five star, first five star hotel in the state of Minnesota. It just opened last year. Let's go ahead and head up Nicollet Mall. Over here at the library, there's the uh, sculpture there. You can sit underneath there, get some shade. And the skyway is connecting back and forth through the city for those winter days. See what's going on here. Looks like we got someone setting off bubbles. 
and a musician ready to perform outside the Hennepin County Library. Bus driver giving us the thumbs up there. Wait. We got the Baron of Bubble. Uh, this here is the Nicollet 365, relatively new building, uh, luxury condos. Excel is actually on the other side too. Tended on both sides of the street here. Lime scooter season. This is the Hopscat Hopcat space. Used to be a bar here at this private level. Uh, I think they had 100 craft beers on tap or something like that. Notable craft beer bar that has shut down, did not survive the pandemic. It's a vacant spot. Hopefully we'll be getting a new tenant soon. And here we'll be connecting to your light rail lines. If you want to get from, you know, St. Paul or what is it? Mall of America down to central Minneapolis. You head a few blocks that way to Target Field, Target Center, Hennepin Avenue Theaters, and then this way to US Bank Stadium, City Hall. And eventually, Wild America. Meet Minneapolis Visitor Center. South 6 here on the left, 50 on the right there. I think there's a Chipotle inside the Skyway in there. A couple other little spots. I think the Ocean Air restaurant is like a seafood restaurant inside there. Pretty nice spot. And then city center here on the right, connecting to the Multi Foods Tower.
Umbrella Tower. Halo there. And then the Wells Fargo Tower here in between the two. There were some uh, famous meetups during the 2008 financial crisis and after the uh, afterwards when uh, Wells Fargo got caught up in the account scandal there were employees meeting up there this is a piano these were placed throughout the streets throughout the streets in the city last year I was not sure if they were bringing them back but it looks like they did Yeah, the, uh, in that Wells Fargo Center there, there's a PBS documentary that's pretty interesting. I want to say it's Money, Power, and Wall Street, or Greed and Wall Street, or something like that. And maybe this is, maybe I'm thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of the specific Wells Fargo one. And there's some scenes shot inside that building where there's Wells Fargo employees who are trying to meet with leadership after they'd been asked to open up these accounts in people's names to meet their quotas. And then I think the employees were put in these high pressure situations and then they did not feel happy with the backlash that leadership had received. That's yeah, an interesting documentary on PBS there. This is uh, IDS Center, IDS Tower there, the tallest building in Minneapolis, about just under 800 feet. I don't think it's the tallest by much. I think Capella and Wells Fargo are within 10, 20 feet of it. I could be mistaken. This is that IDS Center? It was built in the 70s, if I remember correctly. Wells Fargo being built in, I want to say, the 80s. And I think the Wells Fargo Tower here, you can see in the reflection of IDS, was going to be built significantly smaller. And they had a smaller, two shorter tower plan. And then, I don't think that got approved. They got approved for the one site. And they went with the one taller section. I think it's a very cool building, really adds to the skyline. That's this one here that you can see reflecting off of the IDS, which IDS is the tallest there. Across the street. No, well, looks like uh, we're in need of some repairs here at the IDS Center. Let's take a look inside really quick for. Heading back out and further up Nicollet Mall. This is the IDS Center here. Over here to the right. Towers up to the office spaces. 
this big structure or open space with some seating, a couple different restaurants connecting you to the Skyways. Skyways or Skyway? Very nice light in here year round. these uh, ground level tenants are going out of business so we've got this one that is still open luckily hopefully we can keep people coming to this area and keep people supporting the businesses that are here the departments at Dayton they've been working to do more with these spaces this is the, so we're at 8th Street and Nicolet now. This way towards Hennepin Avenue. Up to Marquette. Minneapolis police hanging out. It's about, I think 2.30 p.m. or so. A little early in the afternoon, maybe 2.15. Just for a time of day check. That. Police on both sides of the street. Multiple vehicles. Always a strong presence around here. I think there's something called Operation Endeavor where they sit their police cars around with the uh, with the lights on to scare people off or something. Like scarecrows for criminals. This here is the uh, Bancourt building. I think it was at least once the, the headquarters for US Bank, US Bancorp Center. They might have moved their headquarters into the two US Bank towers, but I'm not certain. Uh, I know Piper Sandler, the investment bank, is currently operating out of there, but they'll be moving to North Loop Green here in 2024, 2025, when that building opens up. So that was some exciting news a few months back. Yeah, uh, big company here in Minneapolis moving to a new space. This public space has been closed for well over a year now. I'm not really sure what happened there. I want to say I saw pictures of there being a Panera bread or something back there before, but yeah, all this seating and places to eat and have a nice lunch closed off. Plenty of places on the sidewalk for police vehicles, not a lot of space for public seating. I think we're right around the Target headquarters. They have moved a lot of their uh, employees to remote work today or these days. But over here uh, in that Bancorp Center, connected to it, there are at least some Target offices, from my understanding. This is uh, 50 South Street. So this next building with the uh, big target in it might be the one with the target office space in there. Yeah, would we consider that a flagship target? Walk 
seven, six, five. Looking at the medical arts building here. There's the bankrupt center again. Coconut whisk. I think we start getting to some more uh, public space facing restaurants around here, utilizing the space for people to sit and enjoy and mingle, have nice meals. A couple different restaurants up ahead, rooftop bars. Newsroom here across the street, and then Barrio. Coming soon, be ready. Sky High Lounge. Oh, on Instagram to keep up. Barrio here, and then the next restaurant here is The Local, it's an Irish pub, I believe they're a Manchester City bar, so a lot of happy soccer fans in there recently, the team has seen a lot of success lately. Arsenal bar too, so both Arsenal and Manchester City, two of the best teams in the English Premier League right now, both having their supporter group meetups there. Common sight of a touring bus, musicians here on 10th Street. Loading up, loading out before they go play at the Dakota Jazz Center here. Let's see who's playing tonight. sort of accident or incident going on up there. Let's give whoever has something going on there their privacy and space right now. Not gonna go investigate that further on video. If I were in that situation, I wouldn't want someone recording me. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is actually the building where Target has their headquarters located in right now. not the Bancourt building. Oh, Graham Nash. Playing tonight at the Dakota Center. Sold out concert. Looking back in the direction we came, you can see IDS Center there, towering above the rest of the city. And then the Fauché Tower over here, and then AT&T Center. Is it AT&T Center, AT&T Building? I think AT&T Center sounds like a stadium. There's a Target space over here. Got a lot of their employee events and gatherings. go up to PB Plaza and then turn back up Marquette. See what we see up there.
devil's advocate. The devil doesn't need an advocate. He's the devil. Let him do his thing. structure, public space here. You can sit, meet some friends, enjoy lunch. Let's check out this art here. like these little reflectors move in the wind, push light around the area. Nice little shadow down here. At uh, Caribou Coffee, you can kind of see where all those uh, British flags are. That's Brit's Pub. There's a rooftop patio there. I think they have a very large screen that they show big soccer games on. Rooftop patio for like the Champions League and World Cup games. Who knows what else is going to be on? We'll see. Uh, we'll see what they do. This year for the I believe Women's World Cup is coming up this summer. WCCO building here. Local television news station. Minnesota Orchestra Hall. And PV Plaza. Nice PV Plaza. Nice public space to hang out, sit, enjoy your lunch, your lunch break, your coffee break, or a little bit of time with friends if you're not working at all. This uh, this lower area here does. Uh, it's actually a fountain, so they fill it up with water during the summer really thin layer like an inch of water or so. I think I was out here about a year ago. It was kind of a fun shot of somebody walking through there splashing around. Very cool look to it. Here's the uh, PV Plaza fountain. Still off for the season. My guess would be it'll be coming back. Any day now? YWCA, I'm eliminating racism, empowering women. I, looks like a workout space. Walking up 12th Street right now towards Marquette. And then we'll walk back down Marquette towards Washington. This I think is 
Westminster Church is what it's called. Westminster Presbyterian. PV Plaza. Minneapolis Convention Center down this direction. Ahead of us, Minneapolis Convention Center area. Bolero Flats Apartments. Orchestra Hall stage door. Nice music note themed bike locks. Orchestra Hall. I believe the Orchestra Hall does um, all sorts of different programs to try to make it accessible out there. I think I was looking at tickets a few months ago and they're kind of expensive, but then I saw they had a program online where they you can enter in to get tickets for like $25 or something like that and then I think day up tickets can be even cheaper than that through the direct website so if you're interested in checking out the orchestra go uh, go take a look at that website they have all sorts of interesting deals to help get people in there WCCO television station. AT&T Center, AT&T Tower, AT&T Building, AT&T something right here in front of us. That green structure kind of opens up on the roof there. Very cool building. Creative. And there's a salad place in there called Crispin Green. Very uh, quality local chain from my understanding. Forest here. Put some flower on the buildings. This is the uh, music note mural. There's some iconic images of Prince standing in front of it. Famed and much beloved musical icon of Minnesota, Prince himself. This parking lot 
I don't know if it's sold yet or if it's up for sale. There are, I've seen renderings of a office tower that's, or might be mixed use or residential, but tower looking to be built right here that would still incorporate the music mural into its space. So what they're looking to do is build a tower here and then um, I think there's a staircase on that side of the building to where you can still see the mural through windows, if I remember correctly. And I want to say they are basically looking for tenants right now. And then once they can get enough tenants committed to it, then they can start construction on that tower itself. So this is the spot here in Minneapolis that will be changing soon. It's definitely part of, I don't want to say music history because it's just a picture of Prince, but it's definitely a image that stands out to me as one of the cooler pictures that really has this Minneapolis flair to it. But sometimes you gotta change the views up to make it to where our city can be more accessible to more people. We can have more space. Hopefully get more people living downtown, eating, drinking, enjoying these spaces to where we can get the city looking like how we want it to look like and crowded and populated and being enjoyed. One thing, oh, we have the, uh, the Fache Tower here right in front of us. There is a, uh, I, I don't know a ton about the story of the Fache Tower. I do know that the the Fache name, the guy was caught up in some sort of fraud scheme. And so this is a, uh, one of the Art Deco buildings here. It's currently houses, uh, you have Manny's Steakhouse here, which is probably one of the nicer steakhouses here in Minneapolis on the ground level. And then it is a W Hotel inside, so a nice hotel. And there's a cocktail bar, which you can get the food from Manny's Steakhouse. So if you want to grab a steak with nice views of the city, you can do it up there in the Fache Tower. That is on the, I want to say 37th, 38th floor. And then a few stories up, there's the observation deck and uh, and museum, which I've never been to the observation deck or the museum, but I have been to that bar. It is called Prohibition. And it's definitely a really nice spot, very cool spot to check out. I went there on a weeknight in the winter and views were beautiful. One of the better public spaces, well, I guess it's private, but one of the better publicly accessible spaces in Minneapolis to where you can go and you can see these views of the city that in most buildings, so this here is the at and Tower on the right. Most buildings are reserved for tenants and people living or working within the spaces. That is one of my uh, complaints about Minneapolis is there's not, another, not a ton of public spaces in these buildings. IDS Center, Wells Fargo Center, um, here at Capella Tower, it's Capella Tower right there. None of these have any sort of uh, observation level or spot where tourists or the public can go out and hang out up there and maybe have a nice meal at a restaurant, but I understand it can be costly to get supplies up there, so I see why they don't. But it would be very cool if you could find a way to make that. Make publicly accessible spaces intertwined with our new skyscrapers. It's the Medical Arts Building again. We were looking at it from the other side there on Nicollet Mall before. Hell 
Hell's Kitchen. Not to be confused with the Hell's Kitchen, which is that guy uh, in New York. This is a different restaurant by the same name from my understanding. It's like the Ameriprise Financial, I want to say, is this building directly in front of us. But I'm not quite sure, so don't quote me on that one. That'd be this one that I'm talking about that I'm not quite sure of. This is definitely the Pache. Steakhouse here in the ground level of the Fouché building, Fouché Tower. Really nice restaurant. I can't comment on the quality of the food. I've never been there, but it is pretty well renowned, pretty often listed as some of the best steaks and that sort of food here in Minnesota, but never been there. Fargo Tower here. Might be my favorite skyscraper in Minneapolis. I don't know. I like a lot of them. It's definitely really cool. Um, show you inside here really quick. So this is Deluxe Plaza. I think eventually I'd like to do a more extensive walk through the Skyway system to where you can see more of what's in here and some of the vacancies because I do believe that businesses will be coming back in the future. This is a nice little space. Coffee shop over here. Gray Fox Coffee and Wine. And then here's the uh, Meet Minneapolis, who I believe is putting on the Doors Open Minneapolis, which we were talking about in the last video here, but something I've been exploring a bit wanting to decide what I'm going to do for that that weekend because there's so many cool spaces in the city that I've yet to explore and yeah excited to see what's out there just gotta plan out that time properly Yeah, that space during the winter is typically pretty crowded. A lot of people hanging out, having coffee inside that gray bar, outside of that gray bar, gray bar spot. And then today, no reason to be in there because likely one of the best days of the year here. <laughs> uh, here on the right, we have the Baker Center. Tower. SPS is a uh, software company. I think electronic data interchange uh, out of here in Minneapolis. EDI company. They are the anchor tenant, anchor tenant there in SPS Tower. The 
IDS Center here, IDS Tower, college building again. 790 something feet, I want to say, not quite 800. And then the Wells Fargo Center here. This, uh, this corner of the, so this corner? Yeah, I think is, yeah, this corner of the IDS Center building, or center is the Marquette Hotel. Pretty nice hotel. I wanna say they have a decent lounge in there. Get your bus tickets. The Metro Transit Service Center. Is that Wells Fargo Center? Foods Tower here. Is this the North Star Center? I want to say. Yeah, North Star Center over here. And then this direction you yeah, have Government Center, Hennepin County Building. This is the uh, Weston Hotel right here on this corner. The building says the Farmers and Mechanics Savings Bank of Minneapolis. Interesting, there's a upper level skyway here too. Connecting the Weston and Farmers and Mechanics Savings Bank of Minneapolis to the Wells Fargo Center there. Over here you have Ron Tower, which is a cool Art Deco structure. A nice hotel in there, Bar Rufus, which is supposed to be a pretty nice restaurant too. Some really cool details on this building.
looking at the uh, Wells Fargo Center here while I wait for the signal to safely cross. Saver experience share. Now who gets that feeling when they go to a bank? Who are they kidding? Oh, I should point this out. So this is actually a pretty cool structure right here above Crown Point Bank, connected to the um, Wells Fargo Center by the Skyway there, and to the Baker Center on the other side. This is, uh, these are apartments up here a few different uh, units but that top unit up here is very cool it was up on I don't know if it was Zillow or realtor.com about three four years back and you can see some really interesting interior photos I believe that's gonna be 601 Marquette if you want to look that up but really cool little building in here um, definitely a unique art uh, apartment there in the center of Minneapolis. Hey, we just got the 20% uh, battery warning, so any time now, this, uh, here's Ron Tower again. Ron Tower straight ahead, and then Capella Tower to the right. I uh, just got that low battery reminder, so the video will probably cut up out at any time. Last uh, last video I was recording, I got that reminder. I started giving this whole spiel that I do every time. And my phone actually gave me a notification that I no longer had storage left. So that time it didn't die because of the battery. It died because I ran out of storage. So deleted some of these old videos and then was able to free up space. We got 510 Marquette here. Uh, heading back by 4th Street, where you get your light rail connections um, taking you out towards uh, this direction would be towards the Mall of America. Now, is that that Sioux Line building or the 500 Line building? Looks like an S. We'll have to look at what that is soon. The U.S. Bank Stadium in the distance there. Clock. Let's cross the street. And then the Fifth Street Towers right here. See, I don't want to push this gimbal too hard because the last two videos tried to do too much with it and then it's popped out and lost its connection. So don't want to do that again. Don't want the video to be too shaky. But yeah, these are the uh, Fifth Street Towers. Yeah, so the video is going to cut out any second here. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, I appreciate anybody who has anything to say about anything I'm saying, any corrections, thoughts, views, opinions love to hear from you as always appreciate it when anybody can like subscribe share the videos with your friends show your son show your daughter show your grandma show everybody uh, so here's the uh, light rail station there heading towards Target Center st. Paul uh, Target field where you transfer to get on that green line Yeah, thank you for watching the video. I uh, am ever appreciative of the community of people who have reached out and said hi and taken some time out of the day to watch 
me document the history of Minneapolis, Minnesota in general, but mostly Minneapolis. Uh, this is Four Mark here at 400 Marquette. It's a luxury condo, pretty nice building in there. Um, I've actually talked with the uh, management team a couple times. It's really nice uh, concierge, uh, great building. A couple really nice tenants in there. Happy to have met with. Okay, this is the rooftop area of the so after I pointed out to the rooftop here I saw that the lighting was off and when it's like that so the exposure is set to the sky so it gets or to the dark area so it gets overexposed and really bright I have to tap the screen and you can see back there I was going like this and then I saw that it, the exposure was off so I tried to tap that part but I was in front of the screen, so it uh, didn't quite work. But yeah, this is, uh, I want to say 360, 360 Nicolet. Great use of what I believe was once a parking lot. Very cool building. And then if you're not as concerned about patios, you have four Marquette, which great amenities in that building too. This one does have the little patios. Yeah, I think would be considered patios. Come on, but I've never been in this one. Uh, you can see in the distance here, you have North Loop Green. That is the residential tower that you can see coming up right there. To the right, there's gonna be a shorter one that is gonna be the commercial tower. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that from here. I think they recently started putting, just in the last week or so, the glass paneling on that um, North Loop Green commercial side. Over here, you have, uh, I, wanna, I believe it's called 40 Park. Forth and Park is the another new tower coming up. I wanna say 40 stories. They have lots of cool projects, lots of cool stuff coming up in Minneapolis. Just gorgeous day perfect day nowhere else i'd rather be today <laughs> this is such a beautiful city such a beautiful day uh, we've got a bike path here and city hall right here downtown cabaret there's those fifth street towers we were talking about to look into more of the history there, find out some more about the tenants, hopefully share some more information with you guys about that someday. Yeah, they, I always like the way that those stand out as a structure in the city, but I don't know a ton about them. Maybe if you know anything about those two towers or you worked in there and can tell me about the space, let me know in the comments or send me a message. Love to, uh, love to hear from you. I saw an image of this area a few years back and just so much of this was parking lots and just amazing what they've done with this city in the past few decades and what they're working to continue doing. Um, so we're here at Third and Marquette. This is that building, The Mark, where Voya Financial, which was in the, uh, I believe Voya is a financial services. I, should be careful with what I say. Voya moved from that old Hennepin County Library to this building recently in the last few months. We'll see what becomes of that space. I think this is 100 Washington here on the right. And 
over here we have the 255 Third Street, or is that 255 Second? 255 here, this building is the Wells Fargo Operations Center. We did a full walk around of that. I wanna say about four months ago when it was announced that the building had been sold and was gonna to be torn down. It's gonna be rebuilt. It's a new space, new use as our city continues to grow. here and then go inside commerce at the crossings there is a tenant I would like to show you that I think is notable this is a courthouse here I think So while it is the perfect day to be outside, I want to show something inside really quick because it is a gem of Minneapolis, I think. There's two little restaurants inside this building that are arguably two of the best in the Skyway system. We are indoors, so you never know when building management is going to come up to me and say, Tim, stop recording. You can't record in here without the, without the permission of management. And then I'll go, okay, and we'll leave. Oh my God, it's gone. So this is Dagwood's. They make sandwiches. Um, unfortunately, Skyways do tend to close pretty early in the day, and I think it's about three o'clock right now, but some of the best sandwiches in the city, I would say. If you disagree with that statement, please tell me, because I'd love to hear about more great sandwiches. I will check out your recommendations and eat them. But yeah, this is Dagwood's great sandwiches. And then Skyway Walk over here, which is a Chinese restaurant. It's a great lunch spot if you're working in the Skyway. Yeah, there's all sorts of little convenience stores, shops, toys. Hey, that's where your new business can go. What are we gonna put there? Coin shop. Skyway Dental Clinic. And baseball player, Joe Mauer, I think it is. Gold Glove, Joe Mauer. Definitely a Pride of Minnesota dispensary, which I believe is currently edible only or something like that. And then I think the Minnesota House or the Minnesota Senate I saw online just agreed to try to legalize marijuana in the coming months. So we'll see what becomes of that. That'll be likely good for Minnesota business, bring more money and revenue to the city. Hopefully get some people who are going to jail for some things that 
they shouldn't breed and putting our resources into more important things. So we're crashing, cr cr crossing over Washington Avenue right now. And over here is the federal building, passport services and all that. There's that Wells Fargo Operations Center that's gonna be coming down. And then a couple new, so there's gonna be that project here, another one up here. Lots of new stuff going on here on Washington Avenue. And then we're gonna head down the stairs here. 100 Washington Square. Go outside. Call it a day. This guy, he's cleaning the windows. Terrifying job. Cafe series. Nice little uh, light in here. I just got the 10% uh, the battery charge, so any moment now you're gonna get cut off. Thank you for watching, appreciate you. Hope you have a great rest of your day. If you are here in Minneapolis, I hope you're enjoying this beautiful day. I think we're gonna get some storms this weekend. So hopefully you're enjoying that. By the time this video's up, it'll probably be Friday. It's currently Thursday, it takes about a day to process it. 4k quality so by the time this video is up it'll probably be raining storms will be coming and then we'll be getting ready for the next nice day yeah i love this space out here um yeah hasn't been set up yet for the season but there's typically tables benches all sorts of stuff out here lawn games to play and then Skyway connecting to this little structure here, which I believe connects to these apartments. So you can get from one side of downtown to the other in the winter, but we don't need that for now. So here's that uh, old Hennepin, I want to say it was the Hennepin County Library building, Voya Financial more recently. It's a really nice, uh, reflecting pond on the side of it that's currently empty should be getting filled up any day yeah thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day um, yeah Okay.